The movie starts with Marshal Jim Dillon, the dedicated police chief of Horse Cave, a peaceful town with just under 1,000 people. Marshal Jim is committed to maintaining peace in this tranquil place. His loyal partner is Deputy Matt Reynolds. One day, two bikers from a notorious gang unexpectedly enter the town. When they pass by the police station, Deputy Matt notices them. Intrigued, he asks Jim about the bikers' sudden appearance in their quiet town. Their presence is strange, especially so early in the day. However, Jim advises Matt to stay calm, thinking the gang members might have accidentally come across Horse Cave. But Matt isn't the only one surprised by the bikers. As soon as they enter a nearby cafe, the locals stare at them, silently questioning why they're there. One biker, named Shovelhead, causes trouble by insisting on getting an alcoholic drink from Kathy, the cafe's owner, even though it's morning. Kathy refuses, which angers Shovelhead, leading him to demand a beer. She fights back by hitting him with a bottle, which only provokes him further. He then challenges her to a fight, while his colleague, Jarhead, watches. Just in time, Jim arrives at the cafe. He intervenes quickly, stopping the fight, and arrests Shovelhead, taking him to the police station. While Shovelhead is held, Jarhead leaves without facing any consequences. At the station, Jim becomes more suspicious about the gang's intentions in their town. Consequently, he instructs Matt to transfer Shovelhead to a larger police station in a nearby city. While Jim remains in Horse Cave to protect it, his intuition proves correct. As Matt travels to the city, the rest of the biker gang secretly arrives in town. It becomes clear that Shovelhead was a distraction, meant to divert attention from their main plan. With the town's defenses compromised, the gang aims to disable the electrical substation, plunging the whole town into darkness. Meanwhile, Jim is chatting casually with Kathy at her cafe. However, when the power goes out, he senses trouble. He hurries back to the police station to assess the situation. As Matt heads towards a nearby town, he notices someone lying on the side of the road. Thinking the person is injured, he approaches without suspicion, only to be ambushed. The individual turns out to be a member of the biker gang, and as Matt gets closer, he's held at gunpoint and captured. The gang has more tricks up their sleeves besides the initial deception. While on patrol, another police officer notices a speeding van. As the officer pursues the van and instructs the driver to exit, other gang members ambush him and fatally shoot him. A gang member named Dirty Bob then disguises himself in the officer's uniform and takes control of his patrol vehicle. Meanwhile, in Horse Cave, Jim attempts to contact other police departments for assistance. However, the gang disrupts the communication lines, blocking any outside help. The town is effectively isolated. Jim becomes even more worried when he hears the distinct sound of motorcycles approaching. Rushing outside, he sees the gang infiltrating the town. As he tries to figure out their plan, he's taken by surprise when Jarhead sneaks up on him and aims a gun at him. The gang's plan becomes evident. They intend to rob the local bank. Diablo, the gang's leader, knows Horse Cave well since he grew up there. This deep understanding of the town and its police force allows him to create a detailed plan for the heist, aware of Jim's possible responses and limitations. To further the scheme, Diablo has placed a member inside the bank as a teller. Once they have all the bank employees subdued, Diablo instructs the bank manager to assist in opening the vault. The manager complies, giving the gang access to the bank's funds. After successfully looting the bank, Diablo orders some members to lock up the bank staff and town residents in a church. However, he keeps Jim and the newly arrived deputy with him. It becomes clear that Diablo has more to reveal. The bank robbery is just a part of his larger plan. He knows about a large amount of money coming from a casino soon. Determined to steal it, Diablo plans to intercept the armored vehicle carrying the casino's cash. The two guards with the armored vehicle are unaware that their destination bank has been robbed, thanks to Diablo cutting off all communication from the town effectively. While they wait for the truck, sudden gunfire breaks out, coming from a skilled elderly sniper hidden from view. He systematically takes out gang members, forcing the rest to hide. Amidst the chaos, Jim and Matt quietly escape. Without realizing it, Diablo inadvertently captures a frightened woman nearby. Using her as leverage, he threatens to kill her unless the hidden sniper reveals himself. The sniper, recognizing the hostage as his wife, comes out, begging for her safety. However, Diablo coldly shoots the old sniper. Understanding the hostage's significance, Diablo tries to manipulate Jim and Matt by threatening to kill her unless they reveal themselves. In a panic, Matt sets off an alarm in their hideout, angering Diablo, who impulsively shoots the woman. 
Knowing a direct attack on the gang is not feasible, Jim sets up a trap inside their hideout. Quietly exiting from the rear, they activate the trap as the gang approaches from the front. Strategically, Jim and Matt separate to monitor the gang's movements. For a while, Diablo and his gang take a break, expecting the arrival of the armored truck. Remaining inside the bank, they plan to ambush the guards when they enter. When the truck finally arrives, the driver senses an eerie calm around. Becoming suspicious, he asks his colleague to check the bank while he stays in the vehicle. Unaware of it, Diablo's crew is waiting inside the bank. They quickly seize the guard investigating and escort him back to the truck. They demand the driver unlock the vehicle. When he refuses, Diablo ruthlessly shoots the captured guard. With the guard gone, Diablo and his gang use explosives to break into the truck's rear compartment. After securing the cash, they hurry to the church where the townspeople and bank employees are held captive. In a calculated move, Diablo targets Kathy, planning to use her as leverage against Jim and Matt. At the same time, Matt, armed with his long-barreled weapon, positions himself near the church, intending to eliminate Diablo and his crew with precise shots. However, Jim, aware of Matt's limitations in long-distance shooting, worries that a stray bullet might hit Kathy. Because of this, he advises Matt against taking the shot. Not wanting to sit back, Matt chooses to confront Diablo directly, hoping to free Kathy, and then starts shooting. Witnessing Matt's courageous action, Jim feels compelled to shoot at a gang member, hitting his mark, which angers Diablo. In a rage, Diablo orders his men to bring Kathy and Matt back into the church. Then, he gathers some of his gang to hunt down and capture Jim, unaware of the traps Jim has strategically placed around the area. One of these traps, cleverly hidden in a car, causes a massive explosion when a gang member accidentally triggers it. Inside the church, Kathy quietly informs Matt about a radio in one of the rooms, suggesting they could use it to call for backup from nearby police stations. Recognizing its potential, Matt takes action. While the gang members are momentarily distracted, Matt quietly enters the room and finds the radio in working order. He urgently sends out a distress call. At the same time, Kathy notices a lapse in the attention of one of the gang members and takes advantage of it, effectively disarming him. With the threat neutralized, she leads the captives to a safer area of town. Meanwhile, in another part of town, Jim is locked in a fierce gun battle with Diablo and one of his top associates. After a prolonged fight, Jim manages to take down the associate, but Diablo escapes, rushing to his car where the rest of the gang awaits. One of them informs him about approaching police reinforcements, urging them to quickly leave with their stolen goods. This causes Diablo to shift his focus from Jim to ensuring their escape. Just as Diablo is about to flee, Jim appears again, determined to ensure justice prevails, despite having limited ammunition. Diablo is responsible for the deaths of many innocent people, and Jim believes only the harshest punishment will suffice. He relentlessly pursues Diablo, who tries to escape on a stolen motorcycle. Their intense chase is short-lived as Jim's precise shot causes Diablo's bike to skid and crash. With injuries, especially a damaged leg, Diablo finds himself trapped and unable to continue fleeing. Jim, firm in his decision and convinced that Diablo's actions deserve the highest penalty, takes aim and delivers the final blow. This action brings a sense of peace back to the town of Horse Cave. Resuming his role as a law enforcer, Jim strengthens his relationship with Kathy, his partner, signaling a new era of hope and the potential for better days ahead for the community. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon. Take care.